would like to tell you your time for you to prepare and to decorate yourself more and to cleanse your garment of the wedding. It is this time. If there are many people doing it, or there are few people, if you sleep with someone who accepts or he does not accept, you are not concerned. It is your responsibility as a bride that was dethroned that is going to meet the group the bride of Christ and live in a life of joking or lying and live a life of jealous and discouraging and live a life of hating. Paul wrote to the Galatians and said that he should acquit those things and he should crucify those things and then be glad by the Holy Spirit and he should be a walk according to the Spirit so that he fulfills the will of God into you without being deceived without being uh, fighters or, or being doing bad things or not being jealous to one another when you see your neighbor and see the clothes of the government I am supposed to have it instead through love praise Jesus it is the way we should walk through the Holy Spirit may God I remind you that you are a bride of Christ and every bride has to prepare every bride has to separate herself every bride has to know what is she is concerned every bride has to have a plan in the life praise Jesus your life of Christianity should be a life that has a line or purpose should be a life that has a preparation and purpose praise Jesus so that you are not taken away with, with every kind of wind for you to be surprised by the groom. We welcome you, beloved brethren. May the Lord bless you to be with us today, this so, moment. We greet you in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. We are yet in another good moment to share the word of God. You know, the word of God is life. The word of God is a lifestyle. And the word of God is faithful because the owner of the word is also faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me request you, you take a short moment. We pray together thanking God. Also praying that he may lead us at this moment. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify you in this moment. We humble ourselves into your presence, Lord. We thank you for this miraculous time of your word. I plead you, Holy Spirit. You, the helper that was given to us, a teacher of the truth. May you please speak to everyone. And may you pass your will through me, Lord. I pray for wisdom and knowledge of your word. Such that everything you will should pass through us, Lord. Bless everyone that is going to hear this word. Of today, hearing today, and even the future. In the holy name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless you. We are about to share the word of God. It is kind of a, a reminding message. It says that you are 
bride of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise Jesus. Urumugeni wa Kristo. You are a bride of Christ. Umuntu rero yari umugeni. So if someone is a bride, aritegura. He has to she has to prepare. Kandi ntabwo yitegura mwibanga gusa. And he, he does not prepare secretly only. Ahubwo uko iminsi igenda yegereza. But as days go on approaching to the day, hari nabagomba kubimenyeshwa. There are people that should be informed about the, that day. Kugira ngo bagire nuruhare rwo kugira ngo wa munsi we uzaba umunsi mwiza. Such that they also participate for that day to be a good day. Hallelujah. Amen. Kandi kuba umugeni wa Kristo and to be a bride of Christ. Ni kintu cy'agaciro cyane. There is something of value. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh Yohana yarabyanditse mu gitabo cy'ibyahishuwe. John wrote it in Revelation. Bice 19. Uh chapter 19. Turasoma mirongo 2 gusa wa 7 ni wa 8. We will only read two verses, the 7 and 8. Haravuga ngo it says Tunezerwe twishime tuyihimbaze kuko ubukwe bw'umwana w'Imana busohoye umugeni we akaba yiteguye kandi ahawe kwambara umwenda w'igitare mwiza urabagirana utanduye uwo mwenda w'igitare mwiza niwe mirimo yo gukiranuka yabera haleluya amen let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory for the marriage of the lamb has come his bride has made herself ready and to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen clean and bright for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints amen 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 yes na himbazwe jesus hano yohana yandika when john was writing about this he said that we should be glad and rejoice kandi kintu kidutera kunezerwa and one thing that makes us to rejoice ndetse tugahimbaza and we pray nuko ubukwe bw'umwana w'intama w'Imana busohoye it is because of the wedding of the the lamb of the god of god is about to come Okay. and he said something that is important and, uh, he said that the bride is is also ready and the way he is prepared is also self explained putting on a fine linen and it's a, a fine linen that is prepared Hepfo mudukubo hakavuga ngo uwo mwenda w'igitare mwiza niyo myambaro yo gukiranuka yabera And in the quotes it said the, the clean and the bright fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints Hallelujah Amen Turaba turimo kwibaza ikibazo rero So we are asking a question therefore Ese umunyetorero uh, uh, um, uh, someone in the church cyangwa umugeni wa Kristo a church member or the bride of Christ Hari cyasabwa gukora kugira ngo abateguwe is she required to to do something or to prepare so, something for her to be ready or for the groom ese kuba umukristo gusukakira kristo birahagije kuba ubaye umugeni wa kristo is being a christian or receiving christ enough for being uh, a, a bride of christ ese niba bidahagije nibandi bafite ishingano zo gutegura umugeni wa kristo now if it's not enough who has the responsibility to prepare the bride of christ amen hallelujah amen hallelujah ikibazo cyambere the first question kirimo kubaza ngo mbese umukristo afite ishingano zo kwitegura kuba umugeni wa kristo that is asking that really a christian is he having the responsibility to be ready to be the bride of christ mu byukuri muri uyu murongo wa 8 cyarashubijwe truly here in verse 8 it was answered Haravuga ngo kanda hawe kwambara umwambaro w'igitare mwiza urabagirana It says that he's granted to put on the fine linen that is clean and bright Utanduye that is that is not spotless or it is spotless Hepfa akavuga ngo uwo mwenda w'igitare mwiza niwe mirimo yo gukiranuka yabera And the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints Hallelujah Amen Icyambere umugeni wa Kristo agombye kubuwera The first thing uh, the bride of Christ should be holy or saint akwiriye kuba yambaye umwenda wera ariyo mirimo yabera yabakiranutse She has to put on the fine linen garment which are the righteous acts of the saints Bivuze rero kwa nini cyasabwa kubikoraho Meaning that it, she is required to do something about this Dusubinyuma gatoya If we go back 
umugeni wa Kristo the bride of Christ ni nawo mubiri wa Kristo and this is the same as the body of Christ ni naryo torero rya Kristo and this is the church of Christ duhereye kuri Adam wa mbere starting from the first Adam umugore we Eva uh, his wife Eve yari umubiri we she was his body or part of his, the bone of his bones and she was still the woman or the wife to him now the body of christ it is the bride still of christ and this is the church of christ hallelujah amen and for you to be right to be the right bride of the lamb of of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are required something that is beyond receiving Christ as a king and lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Receiving Christ. It is one way of declaring yourself. Or surrendering yourself into the hands of the of the groom which is Christ. But also you have the responsibility to do something about it. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when the, the groom has paid the dowry, the, groom, the bride has no more other opportunities to love any other groom except the one that he has paid the dowry. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus has has paid the, the 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 precious blood of him uh, yes, praise jesus such that you become his bride there is no man that can pay a dowry and there other man comes to pay for the same woman praise god hallelujah amen that would be something that is abomination hallelujah amen yes praise jesus so we are we are going to see this through the word of God. We are on the point that, that says, is it enough for someone to be a bride of Christ? or receiving Christ. It is good to receive Christ. Actually, it is the right way to declare to be a bride of Christ. But then that's not uh, uh, only enough. It is not enough. You need to do something about Hallelujah. it. Amen. And that thing you need to do it is not something you just do from yourself rather it is a way of preparing yourself that is according to the will of God and his son. Yes, Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We are about to read the story of someone called Esther. Esther was a bride of a, a certain man. A king Ahasuerus. Amen. Amen. For her to be selected among many uh, girls by that time, it required her to do something about it. We will read Esther uh, chapter 2 verse 9. Uh, Hegai agira umwete wo kumuha ibyo kumurimbisha amuha nimigabane ye nabaja barindwi abo yari akwiriye guhabwa bavuye mu nzu y'umwami amutoranya mu bandi amujyana amujyana nana nabajabe amushira mu nzu yabagore aheza haruta ahandi hose now the young woman pleased him and she obtained his favor. So he readily gave beauty preparations to her beside her allowance. Then seven choice maid servants were provided for her from the king's palace. And he moved her and her maid servants to the best place in the house of the women. 
Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The story of Esther or es- uh, Esther in our language as we only read this verse of 9 it is a story if you read the whole story it shows how many beautiful women, uh, girls that were virgin were selected all over the country but because of the character of Esther because of his good behaviors because the way he, uh, he treated herself that, that caused she obtained favor from the one who was in charge of selecting the girls Hegai. who was called Hegai. And then Hegai uh, provided everything that were required for her to prepare. And even she even got seven, seven. Before she went to show herself to the king for her to be ready and prepared enough. Praise Jesus. The work of preparation of the bride it is the collaboration between the bride and Holy Spirit. Because Holy Spirit was given to us as a helper. And she has to help us to prepare the way God wants. But Holy Spirit cannot help a bride without the will and the consent of a bride. Hallelujah. Amen. So it requires the bride for herself to make a choice and to do according to the will of God on what she has to do according to the bride or the groom's needs. Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise God. It is a responsibility of a Christian. It is a responsibility of the one who received salvation to prepare himself more more than enough as Esther was given provided by all the she, like she was given the seven maid servants as she was also put to the best place to do those things or to prepare for preparations. It is the same way Jesus has done this to the church. All the requirements that we are given to prepare ourselves it is the, ho- it is the word of God and Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. The maid servants that help us to prepare on a daily basis. These are different several servants of God that he uses to prepare us. But now that the tools or the requirements are there and they are made servants, it is not enough. The bride of Christ or the bride of a groom without herself to take responsibilities and be in charge of doing those things, she can be of, uh, of spotful or she can be unclean. So the bride of Christ needs to be someone who prepares herself on a daily basis. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She needs to be someone that obeys the word of God. Let's once again read the word of God. Matthew 25. Starting from verse 1. And let's hear what the word of God says. It is a proverb of Christ. But he was talking about the church. Amen. Amen. Aha, turasoma tugeze ku murongo wa gatandatu haravuga ngo icyo gihe ubwami bwo mu ijuru buzagereranywa n'abakobwa 10 bajyanya amatabaza yabo bajya gusanganira umukwe ariko muri ab'icumi abatanu bari abapfa abandi batanu ari abanyabwenge 
abapfu bajyana amatabaza yabo ntibajyana namavuta ariko abanyabwenge bo bajyana amavuta mu mperezo zabo hamwe namatabaza yabo umukwe atinze bose barahunikira barasinzira that then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to the ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bride, the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil and their vessels with the lamps. But, the wi but while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And the midnight a cry was heard. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, na shimwe cyane. Praise Jesus. Aba bakobwa 10 these 10 virgins. Bamwe ngo barabapfu. Ah some were foolish. Batana ari abanyabwenge. And five of them were wise. Impamvu yesa cyo uyu mugani yakoresheje umubare w'10. The reason why Jesus used this this number of 10. Nuko bijyanye na Bibiliya. It is according to the Bible. Ndetse no muri cyo gihe cy'abayuda n'abisiraeli. Even by that time of the Jews or the Israel. Umubare w'10 wabaga uri umwuzuro ari cyo Number 10 was a number of fulfillment. Hallelujah. Amen. Ndetse bemeraga ko abantu 10. So the Actually, they consider ten people whenever they meet they can even start a synagogue to start and pray. Hallelujah. Amen. When God was about to give the ten commandments to he Moses, he used number ten because it was a complete or fulfillment number. So when Jesus was using this proverb of ten verses, he was uh, referring to the church. He was, he was speaking to people that were having the intent or the purpose of becoming the children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And then after that, they were selected. And they were selected for a purpose to receive the bridegroom. Hallelujah. Amen. And then they stood up five of them they say that we normally go and show to the, the, the bridegroom we are actually experienced and we have our lamps praise Jesus so they carried their lamps they said after all we were uh, uh, selected because we deserve this we, we, we overcame or we win many people people that are not here. For us now to be there, it's enough. And now they went and waited. But the word says, and the bridegroom delayed. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If the, all things do quickly, people, uh, many people can be faithful. But if there comes time of delaying, it is a trial time. Actually, the faithful shall remain faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. But the five who are wise, they said that we are lucky to be selected for us to go and wait and present to the bridegroom. So we will take oil into our lamps. We will even take some reserves such that when the bridegroom delays the first oil will get complete. We will take the other reservations but we do well the work we were selected to do. Praise God. What does oil mean here? Oil means Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Because oil in the lamps 
light shine more and would take away darkness. Christ ari we mucyo wacu So when Christ, Christ who is our light in the world when he is in us muri twe hari mu mwuka wera and we have holy spirit mu byukuri tugenda habona truly we go on with light. Hallelujah. Amen. Umwuka w'Imana ashobora kukubwira ngo nta mugeni wa Kristo uvuga cyo. The Holy Spirit of God may tell you that there is no bride, bride of Christ says something. There is no one selected by king who walks in such a way. Because there is a light that shines all over everything you do. But because when oil is over from your lamp and darkness is too much, people will do things on, from their will. So the bride of Christ will make no difference from others. And these people now shows they were only pleased to be selected to be presented to the bridegroom. But when they did not do anything about it, when they entered, they just slumbered. They just lived a life in the, in the world like others or pleasure life. They behaved the way they used to behave before they were selected to be presented to the bridegroom. Hallelujah. Amen. Now when it came the midnight, they had a, a loud cry saying, Behold, the bridegroom has come. Let's read from verse 6. Amen. Amen. Ntiyadukwira twese ahubwo ni mujye mu bahanjuzi muyigurire bagiye kugura umukwe araza abari biteguye binjirana nawe mu bukwe urugirura kingwa and at midnight a cry was heard behold the bridegroom is coming go out to meet him then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps and the foolish say to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should be not be enough for us, and you go uh, and you buy, go rather to those who sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hanyuma ngo urusaka rumaze kuba rwinshi ngo muko araje. So when the shout, when the cry was so loud that bridegroom has come. Waro shinzwe kubamenyesha yuko aje. The one in charge to inform them. Arababwira ati rimuhaguruke muboneza amatabaza yanyu mujye gusangana mukwe. He said now come and trim your light and go meet. Mujye ngo bose barahagurutse. They all stood up. Hallelujah. Amen. Ariko ngo abanyabwenge But the wise virgins bafata mavuta they took their oil bongera mu matabaza yabo they put more to their lamps and they opened them baramurika they lighted them Ariko abapfapfa but the foolish bagiye gucana when they were about to light up their lamps they could not make light kubera ko nta mavuta arimo because they had no oil ngo baravuga ngo nimudutabare mu de mavuta yanyu and they said help us with your oil abandi barababwira ngo oya the others said no ntabwo ya it cannot be enough for us. Rather go to the sellers and buy. Praise God. The life of Christians, the life of the bride of Christ, it requires a Christian to live a life that fellowship with the bridegroom. So that he is not uh, abstracted by other things. Because in this world, people who get out in life, who get out from Christ, who get out from the leadership of Holy Spirit, their oil or ointment just gets finished. Because Holy Spirit is the oil for the light. 
ariko umuntu ugumye muri Kristo But if someone stays in Christ akagumaho mu buzima busabana na Kristo he lives a life that fellowships with Christ akemera kuyoborwa numwuka wera he accepts to be led by the holy spirit akigomwa irari nibyisi bidahimbaje for goes the last and the pleasure from the world niwe mugeni wa Kristo that's the right bride of Christ kandi mu byukuru tunganijwe and the one that is prepared ushobora no gukora imirimo ye who can do his works mu gihe gikwiriye umukwe yaza and when in the right time when the bride comes afite gukorwa ni so will shine his lamp without any blame amen kandi umugeni wa Kristo byukuri so the true bride of Christ no umuntu umenya kuvuga ngo oya he is the one who is able to say no ntabwo ari umuntu ugendera mu kigare he is not the one who goes in peer groups ngo avuge ngo ubwo turirimba muri korali turijana and say that though we are 100 in the choir mirongo 99 nibavuga ngo ntitukije kurepeta 99 say that we will not come for rehearsal i will not do it because i cannot sing alone nuko bakobwa batanu babanyabwenge as the five five virgins that were white they said no this oil is not enough for all of us they did this because they had a purpose they did this because they wanted to be faithful to do what they were selected to do so they, can, they could not follow these peer groups that's why they said no to the foolish virgins and they said come what may you should go and buy your own oil praise god so hallelujah. much hallelujah hallelujah the life of the bride of christ umugeni wa kristo we kugitike the bride of christ herself niwe wenyine ugomba kubigiramo umwete n'imbaraga that has to do this from his uh, zeal kugira ngo bibashe gose kubashitse atunganiye umukwe to be fully prepared for the bridegroom yes ahimbazwe cyane jesus hallelujah amen umugeni wa kristo teguwe the bride of christ that is prepared akwiriye gutegereza kristo she has to wait for christ ari maso and when she's awake kandi amukunda byukuri agirana nawe bihe byiza she has to love christ truly and having good moments with him hallelujah amen imana ishimwe praise jesus kongere tukurebe mu ijambo ry'imana let us once again see in the word of god Ah uh, tujiye kureba rimwe mu mategeko y'Imana. We are about to see one of the laws of the of God. Matayo 22 Matthew 22 Murongo wa 37 kugeza kwa 38 Verse 37 up to 38. Haravuga ngo nawe aramusubiza ati ukundi shuite kimana yawe umutima wawe wose nubugingo bwawe bwose nubwenge bwawe bwose iryo niryo tegeko rikomeye ry'imbere Jesus said to him you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind this is the first and the great commandment Bwana Yesu asifiwe Praise Jesus Ntabwo kuba umugeni wa Kristo Being a bride of Christ Ufite amatwa azumva Kristo aje does not mean hearing when Christ is Agasanga masa murika And find when you are awake Atuzuye himyanda When you are spotless Atarwaye amaga kumaguru When you have no problems or you are not clean from your legs Ataragiye kujaja abahirya no hino When you did not wandering around or outside numugeni wa Kristo the bride of Christ ariko uba hacyangwa ukundisha uite ku mutima we wose obeys and loves the lord with all her heart nubugingo bwe bwose with all his soul nubwenge bwe bwose with all his wisdom bwana yesu asifiwe praise jesus nuko yesu yavuze ngo iryo niryo tegeko riruta yandi yose jesus say that's the great commandment gukunda yesu to love jesus nk'umugabo wawe as your husband umucunguzi wawe as your savior nk'umwami wawe as your king ntago bigusaba kubita It does not require you to think about it only. It does not require you to love it. Rather you should love him with all your heart. With all your wisdom. Everything you possess should love Christ. When the body is weak. When you are you are 
happy or by the time you are sad you should consider that you are a bride. The bride of here in the world when the wedding is about to do to happen there are things they discuss with the bridegroom or the husband in general like others do. But concerning the, folly, the fellowship and their love truly they have to spare their time that is different as, as others are sleeping that's when they, 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 they open and share as I am speaking to you I should tell you that being a bride of Christ it requires preparation and it is a, on a daily basis it requires you to love Jesus it requires you to love with God with all your heart with all your soul all, with all your works, with all your, the relationship with others, you are not accepted as a bride of Christ to have a relationship, a friendship that is not led by Holy Spirit, that does not glorify God, that does not glorify God. Praise Jesus. Let it be in your friends when you a bride of Christ, you are not allowed to go astray. You have to have limit of the boundaries. You have to say no to some of the lifestyle. Much as the five virgin girls say to the five of the foolish virgins and they could not fall their peer pressure. But even on that moment, they protected their control. They were awake of their responsibilities. They were striving to do what they were called to do. Praise our God. The bride of Christ when she is repeating or rehearsing in the choir she rehearses to please the bridegroom. She does not mix up things. She is not a wife a, a woman of a man that is not known. She cannot be a singer or an intercessor that lies about others. Instead, she tries to seek in the word of God led by the Holy Spirit what gives glory and pleases the bridegroom. Amen. Because we have even seen the fine linen of the garment of, uh, of the bride of Christ. And these are the righteous acts of the saints. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. It means that you have to do it led by the holy righteous that is above all the righteous people. Praise God. We are going to read the word of God. The bride of Christ has to prepare and it has to be according to the will of God. It has to be according to what pleases the bridegroom such that when he comes to take her he will be pleased and he will not be ashamed. 2 Corinthians 11 uh, verse uh, 2 and verse 3. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul was writing here for the church of Corinthians he was, talk, he was telling them that Because ko ariko intekerezo zanyu zayobizwa mugatandukira kugutunganywa no kubonera bya Kristo for i am jealous for you with godly jealous for i have betrothed you to one husband that i may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ but i fear lest somehow 
as the serpent deceived the Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that it is in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hano Paul ari mo kuvuga. When Paul was uh, talking about this. He said that because I have jealous for you a godly jealous. Because I have betrothed you to one husband that is Christ. Ngo muwashingire mumeze nk'umwari utagira inenge. I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Ariko ngo agira ikintu kimwatinya. And he feared one thing. Ngo ariko ndatinya yu uko muko yanzoka ya ya yaheshe yaheshe eva yoheshe eva uburyarya bwayo ko ariko nako intekerezo zanyu zayobyirwa mu kareka gutunganywa no kubonera bya Kristo but i fear lest somehow as the serpent deceived eve by his craftiness so your minds may be corrupted by from the simplicity that is in Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fear of Paul that is, or something that was uh, making her hard to fear. The reason is that Christ that has betrothed a bride that, that should be presented to him that when she is spotless without any blemish she would to be deceived by Satan. Much as Satan deceived Eve and she could stay being a, 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 a bride of Christ as the ten virgins were selected together. But then she could now turn away from that preparation of being like uh, those who are supposed to be for Christ. Meaning that to be prepared as a bride of Christ requires to be according to the principle and the will of Christ that has betrothed us. Praise, Praise God so much. This means that there might, someone may, might be selected to be a bride of Christ but because of the craftiness of Satan and might deceive him and he might prepare but another kind of preparation that is not according for Christ that would be a tragedy because every bridegroom has a way that he wants the bride to be presented to him there are things he wants this woman to be having what the requirement therefore the, 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 the groom has that responsibility to give those requirements or tools. and the reason he gives them is that the bride should be presented to the groom as he wants praise God so much so if there is kind of misunderstanding or doing something different or mixing up things, the conclusion the, of the, the bride will be for a ma or another man because of how she has prepared. When the bridegroom comes to see that woman, she will find when she is blamed, she will not clean. She, or she has decorated or prepared not according to the will of the groom. And that time the groom will just reject. Praise God. That would be too much sorrow for the bride that knows that she is betrothed that has prepared long enough to be in the wedding and be with her husband and then find out that all she has prepared is not according to the need. What I'm saying here, I'm, when I'm towards the conclusion, I would like to tell you that Jesus has done almost everything. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Jesus has shed his blood. Kugira ngo dukureho umugayo n'icyaha cyaturegaga. For him to cleanse us from the sin that was giving us a blame. Yatanze umwuka wera. He has given Holy Spirit. Umufasha uzabana natwe mu isi yose akatwigisha byose. Who will be with us and teaching us everything. Ariko ni wowe wo kugira umwete. So you are the one to take up action. Kugira ngo wirimbishe rwose byanye no kumufasha akakumera. And prepare according to the need of the groom. Imani himbazwe cyane. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Ndakwibutsako I'm here reminding you Kuba ufite ishingano runaka having some responsibilities Mitorero in a church cyangwa ahantu hari ho hose somewhere else Mu byukuri zigaragara neza ko ari zimana really uh, manifesting to be for godly Ubwabye bidahagije is not enough Ahubwo kwiriye kubikora bijyanye n'ubushake bw'umukwe Instead you are supposed to do this according to the will Kanu of the Lord Kandi mukundishije umutima wawe You should love him with all your heart with all your wisdom with all your knowledge and with all your moments and everything you possess because you belong to him all together such that he himself prepares you according to his will Amen Praise Jesus Praise God so, To go in Christ and get saved it is not enough because because every bride needs to prepare. He needs to be cleansed. Because he will be manifested or presented someday on a great day of her wedding. Many people when are gathered and when they are ready to see a special person that was selected among many. So Christ selected you among many who are perishing. The word of God says in Roman that the wise were not selected all but you who was selected by Christ from today you should keep on preparing yourself you should once again love Jesus with all your heart because God Father the Son and Holy Spirit it is one if you love God you are decorating yourself if you obey and trust him in a private and public you are really making, you are beautifying yourself more and getting ready to be received by the bridegroom, the one who has brought you a precious gift, payment. So you are not supposed to be delayed with the works or the lifestyle of a certain group. Instead, the love you love the groom, the love you love your husband who is Christ, it is the one to be that will make you to be special. It is the one that will make you to achieve great things. Because the more you approach and draw close, he is the way he will draw close to you. And his glory will fill you. And his wisdom and knowledge will be more on you. Hallelujah. Amen. Be on, and that on the right time, when Christ come to receive his Right. He will find you when you are ready and prepared enough. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we are concluding, only one verse on in Galatians. Chapter 5, verse 24. For this to be clear, let us read uh, five, uh, three verbs. Uh, Twenty-four to twenty-five. Abagaratia gatano, makumnya abiri nakane, jaza kuri makumnya abiri nagatanda tu twenty-six. Let's read in the name of Jesus. Aba Kristo Yesu, Baba ambanye kamere, niruba, niradibjayo, niba, tuchibesh, kwaho numuka, tuje tuyoborgwa numuka, kwe kuifa tuko tutari, tukwe nderanya, kandi tujirira na amahari. And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. So if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited, uh, provoking one another, envying one another. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise, Praise God. The word is saying that for those who belong to Christ, the bride of Christ, the church of Christ, those who live for Christ, those who have foregone everything for Christ, there is something they have done. They have crucified. They have crucified the last. Not only the last, but also the passion and the desire of life. Praise God so much. Such that they walk according to Holy Spirit. Not only walking as a way, but also being led by the Holy Spirit. For them to do according to the will. And they become what God wants. Which glorifies Him. Hallelujah. Amen. The bride of Christ you are required to crucify. You are required to hate all those that do not speak Christ. Let them be clear or not understandable. Because you are gotten from somewhere. You were wife of some husband. Here in the world on a daily basis, a, a wife of someone should not do something because others. Be, uh, rather, every wife, every woman knows her responsibilities and what pleases his husband. And those are the things she puts more effort to do. Let them please the neighbor or not, or not pleasing the, the man from the workplace. She's not concerned at all. But she has a line. She has responsibilities to that pleases the husband. It is the same way the body of Christ, the church of God, the people of Christ, Jesus, should be walking in the spirit of God. After crucifying the, the, the desires and the lust and the passions. Passion is the one that causes lust or desires. Lust is something that causes you to love something. But the desire is something like fire burning from within inside that pushes someone to do something. So people of Christ should not have such a fire that will not fulfill that or something glorifies God. If you have still have that fire, just know that you are still a bound. Just know you, are, you have not crucified something. Just know you are counted among the foolish virgin. Yes, yes, you are selected. Yes, you are in the synagogue. You are in a church. In a certain church that it has a certain name. But truly, you are not ready, prepared as a bride of Christ. Your, 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 your lamp is not filled with oil. Actually, you have not the reservation. When the bridegroom delays, you will lamp up your light up your lamp and you will shine up. Praise Jesus. Christ is the light of the world. The word of God in Romans said that he came into his people but they did not know him. So it is not a, a, a surprise that if you are selected to be in a church that you are living a lifestyle of canon nature that does not do according to the will of Christ. Today I am sent on you to inform you that I, as you, you find yourself in this world it is the same way you will get or out from. Let it be today or in the future. It is good therefore at this moment. You do good to be to yourself. You be kind to crucify yourself. You, crucify, you, you, you hate what is lustful and the desires of the world. That the fire is burning you. That is, that is encouraging you that if I, I if I 
find, that is telling you to be above all the people. I would like to tell you that you are in a synagogue, but you are counted among the foolish virgins. Because the wise virgins, they strengthen themselves on the oil. They work with the Holy Spirit. They live with him on a daily basis. They take what is precious to them. And they turn it to be nothing. For them to keep standing on the right place. And being led by Holy Spirit. Praise Jesus. And the conclusion Paul writing for the Galatians. But not being uh, in, 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 in doing bad things. And not being jealous to one another. Such a mixed up lifestyle. It is not belong to those people of Christ. Because those of Christ. These are people who are selected. And after being selected. They separate them from many things. For them to be set apart to be the bride of Christ. And then they uh, turn their and they crucify those things. Hallelujah. Amen. They say no. We know who we are. We are brides. We are betrothed. We are waiting for the groom. We are not selling ourselves. We are not living to please the world. And our hope is not to please the world. Rather, we are waiting for the groom to come. And we are having having our oil in the lamps. And we are having it the reservations. We are waiting for the groom so that we shine and we enter with him in the wedding. Praise God so much. Hallelujah. As we conclude, let's see what happened to those virgin girls. Back to, Ma to Matthew 25. Turajeza kuhera kumurongo watu minari mge. To up to starting from verse 11. Aha. Harafu gango hanyu mababa kubga bandi na babaraza. Baraha magarabati. Nyakuba hua duchingurire. Nawe araba subizati. Ndababu giru kuri yuko na wazi. Nuko mube maso kuko mutazi umunsi changwe jihe. After the other virgins came also saying. Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I don't know you. Praise Jesus. Starting from verse 10, it, it said that they went to buy oil because after time is not time. They went to buy. When the groom came in, he entered with those who were around and they the door was shut. Those who ran to buy oil, when they came back, they, was, they, they say that the, he knows us. He's the one who selected us. If we knock the door, he will open for us. But truly, he said, truly, truly, I tell you the truth that I don't know you. Praise Jesus so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would like to tell you, your time for you to prepare and to decorate yourself more and to cleanse your garment of the wedding. It is this time. There are many people doing it. Or there are few people if you sleep with someone who accepts or he does not accept you are not concerned it is your responsibility as a bride that was dethroned that is going to meet the group hallelujah, amen before the heavens open you are supposed to have the ointment in your life praise Jesus maybe I am speaking or maybe you are not Ready. You are tired and you are discouraged. And say Jesus has delayed. I was born again saying he's coming. Even before I was born again they were waiting for him. 
what i can see is not coming but i tell you the truth jesus does not lie but the word of god says he said the one one day before god it is like one a thousand days and a thousand days and like one day if jesus says i'm coming he's not lying and truly every day we see people dying in a different different way. Yesu nahimbazwa cyane. Maybe you will not uh, hear or see Jesus when you are in this body. But even if you sleep or die, you will go when your lamp is full of oil. The day he will say where is my bride? And the voice saying that light up your lamps is coming. You will not, uh, you will not prepare in the short time like the Bible says. Rather, Jesus has given you enough time for you to prepare with enough time to do your good works of the saints and let them be many. Put on a good garment of the bride that is, uh, that is shining and Hallelujah. the Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Uh, something that is discouraging you and it is drying you up it is not of God. It is actually for Satan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you are a bride of Christ. It is not pleasing Satan. He knows well where you are going. He knows well the importance of being a bride of Christ. He knows well how the groom has been preparing for you. This is why he is using different voice and discouragement such that he, 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 he separates you for you to separate with the group. I'm here to encourage you that if you have been praying and you have been discouraged, this is the right time to pray much. If you have been fasting and you feel you like eating a month per month, this is the right time to fast once again. And your stomach should know that you are a bride of Christ and should obey him. Your eyes should should be accepted to see things and others not. Because the eyes also have the responsibilities to, to glorify the, the Amen. The words from your mouth they have to glorify and obey the groom which is Christ. There are things you are supposed to speak and, and having limits. And the word of God it said that the there is no more there is no word of God that is nothing. Every word someone has said. This is why you should not think a bride of Christ and live in a life of joking or lying. And live a life of jealous and discouraged. And live a life of hating. Paul wrote to the Galatians and said that he should acquit those things and he should crucify and then be led by the Holy Spirit. And you should be a walk according to the Spirit so that he fulfills the will of God into you without being deceived, without being a fighter or, or being doing bad things or not being jealous to one another. When you see your neighbor and see the clothes of the government, I am supposed to have it. Instead, through love, Praise Jesus. It is the way we should walk through the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. Let's pray as we thank God. I remind you that you are a bride of Christ. And every bride has to prepare. Every bride has to separate herself. Every bride has to know what is she is concerned. Every bride has to have a plan in the life. Praise Jesus. Jesus. 
your life of Christianity should be a life that has a line or purpose. It should be a life that has a preparation and purpose. Praise Jesus. So that you are not taken away with, with every kind of wind for you to be surprised by the groom. May the Lord bless you. You are the first to have the responsibilities to prepare. The Holy Spirit is there. If you accept, you will walk through him. And he will teach you the right things. And he will make you able to bear the good fruits. May the Lord bless you. Let's thank God. Good Father, we thank you. In, we glorify you. We thank you this precious moment. Thank you for your word. Thank you to remind us that we are bride of Christ. And you are our husband and the groom. Prepare to receive us. Actually, you say it pleases you, Lord. For you to see a, a bride as your son. In the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone that has had the word. For him to receive the strength. To be led by Holy Spirit. To walk according to Holy Spirit. To serve according to Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Let him not have to appetite of the carnal nature. Not him to walk according to jealous. Instead walking in a holiness. Let him have thirsty and wishing good things. Learning your word Lord. And obeying what is written. For the day when the groom will stand in the cloud. We will see you spotless Lord. Thank you Father. May the glory be to you. In the holy name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom.